So the 1939 World Series went four games and the Yankees swept the Reds and the total time of those four games was seven hours and five <laughs> minutes. This one game was longer than the entire World Series in 1939. Try to wrap your head around that and then try to tell us what you thought about what you witnessed with your start watching Muncie hit the home run on the 18th. What was this like? Uh, I mean, obviously, I think that the seven and a half hours is worth it at the end for us. But uh, no, I mean, obviously, it's a you know, it's a game unlike anyone you'll ever see, probably, and especially the the stakes and the you know the atmosphere and stuff like that. And you know, I think it's kind of symbolic of our, our team and our organization that Muncie is the one that you know capped it off for us. Why do you say that? Tell for people at home. Tell us uh, why. I mean, Muncie and I both started in Triple A together this year, so. Yep. Uh, for it to kind of work out the way it did, I think it's pretty cool. And, and you know, around here we kind of preach that one through 40. You know, our 40-man roster, we think we're the best in the, in the game, and uh, I think we showed that today. I think "cool" is a great word to describe what you were able to do as a 24-year-old kid. Tell us about the mindset going into this game. We saw you breathing through it. Your strikeouts were great. Yeah, I mean, at some point you're a little bit in a, in a survival mode um, until you get settled in, and, and then you get a little bit comfortable and, and try and go from there. But, um, you know, the biggest thing is the fact that we got 10 innings out of our bullpen and 10 or 11 innings, I don't even know now. <laughs> but, uh, you know, a lot of zeros up there and some big hits and, and big pitches. So it, it, it seemed like your entire pitching staff figured out how to pitch to the Red Sox. I mean, they score runs a lot of different ways, but you were able to hold some really good hitters down. Was there a specific way to attack them, or was it just because of your good stuff tonight? Well, the series isn't over yet, so we can't we can't talk there too much go. about yeah. that. You're smart man. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, I, I think the first two games they did a good job of, of handling mistakes, and, and we didn't make too many of them tonight. Well, what was it like? You, you did your job, had a great outing, but then you had to sit on the bench for a whole another game and a half. What was it like over there with no control after you had d pitched such a great game? That one, that one feels a lot like a, a, a you know like a minor league doubleheader, I guess, where you play two sevens, and you know if you throw the first one, you just kind of hang out, and and that's what I did. I kind of changed spots in there to try and get some good good mojo going, but yeah, you just you just hang out and relax. Walker, it's 10 minutes of one here in LA. It's 10 minutes of four on the East Coast. And the crowd, many of them actually stayed. I, we keep hearing Dodger fans leave early. I was impressed by how many people stayed. Tell me about the crowd here tonight, what they did for you guys. Yeah, I mean, welcome to Chavez Ravine. You know, I, I think it's, you know, we have some of the best fans in the game. And obviously there's a lot going on in L.A., but at the end of the day, they'll, they'll stick around for us. Seven innings, two hits, no runs, seven Ks. From what you've done collegiately before that, Major League, uh, this is the best right that you've ever had before. Yeah, I mean, this has to has to top the list, I think. But um, you know, hopefully, it's not on top forever. You know, we obviously want to improve, but this one's this one feels good for today. What a year! What a year makes. Last year, you're up there watching it with your sister up there. Now you're starting Game Three at home. That was pretty impressive what you did tonight, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank People you. don't know you had Tommy John surgery. I mean, the velocity went up a huge tick. Are you a much different pitcher than you envisioned yourself being prior? to that? Um, yeah, I mean, you obviously you go under the knife, you, you don't know what's going to come out, but uh, we've been pretty pretty pleased with what happened, and uh, no, I, you know, I'm still still learning about my body and my arm, and uh, it's worked out all right so far. Did you look at the radar gun tonight? Because you came out blowing some chad, and was that, <laughs> I know the adrenaline. I know you got 97, 98, dude. I saw a couple of hundreds in there. That had to feel good. Uh, I, I am a peaker. I will admit to that. <laughs> good. Appreciate you admitting to it. Lastly, for those that don't know, what was it like to be on the bench? What were some of the things you were hearing? What was Robert saying to you guys? What were the players saying as it went through 13, 15, 17, 18? Yeah, I mean, I, I think, you know, just the conversations that we've had all year in games like this and with our backs against the wall kind of scenarios that we've been in a lot this year, especially compared to the, you know, the run that we had last year. So uh, we all stay pretty much the same and grind through it. And, and that's how we operate. Great game series. Now a totally different series. Two to one. You're available to pitch because a lot of the folks say, can we get you to go really today? So you're probably available. 